great. Table one did a great job. Thank you, table two. Thank you, table three. Thursday won't be a typical school day for these fifth graders at Columbia Elementary in West Jordan. What we'll do is um, play over the intercom some noise that's consistent with what a student might hear during an earthquake. Principal Keith Klein runs us through what an earthquake drill will look like. He says a teacher will then command the students to drop cover and hold on. Three steps that could potentially save lives if an earthquake struck tomorrow. So it's important that they know how to conduct a drill even in the absence of an adult um, because we never know when, where, and how those things are going to happen. Knowledge and practice are the main goals of the Great Utah Shakeout. The Beehive State first adopted the program in 2012, and this year more than 900,000 Utahns of all ages will be involved. If we look at the probabilities of a major earthquake, uh, here along the Wasatch Front, we have about a 50 percent, a one in two, or a coin toss of a magnitude six and a half or greater earthquake in the next, in less than 50 years. Steve Bowman is the Geologic Hazards Program Manager for the Utah Geological Survey. He says earthquakes can't be predicted. But there is technology that can detect them minutes before they happen, called an earthquake early warning system. States on the West Coast, like California, already have it. UGS has been working on it in recent years to bring it to Utah. It just requires some additional funding to modify our existing earthquake sensor network. Bowman says they requested additional funding during this year's legislative session, but were unsuccessful securing the money. It would cost about $5 million starting out. Ultimately, an important piece of the puzzle to protect lives, along with these yearly drills. So something like this with a large earthquake, it's scary, there's a lot going on but their bodies know how to react, their mind can go right back to what they've been practicing. 